Hello guys, this is Rick Road here, and today I'm going to be doing my Smackdown review. Alright, as I said, I'm going to be doing my Smackdown review. I'm just, just going to make this a quick video, I'm kind of busy today. So let's get, get right into it. First thing that happened was a match between Bray Wyatt and Kane. That match ended in a countout with Kane getting the win. Um, a lot of stuff with Bray Wyatt happened on the show. Uh, Randy Orton was backstage with Bray Wyatt. He locked him in some kind of like a locker thing. It was really weird. Um, lots of stupid crap. And it was pretty much that Randy Orton that caused the count out. Because there's a promo or something like that of Randy Orton. It's like, I'm looking at the world how you see it. Upside down. Oh, stupid shit. Stupid, stupid shit. Next, Alexa Bliss and Carmel defeat the team of Becky Lynch and Natalia. Uh, I was going to say Natalia. Becky Lynch and Nikki Bella. No big deal. I don't like women wrestling on SmackDown. It's not that good. Alexa Bliss is going to be fighting Becky Lynch and No Mercy. Carmella is going to be fighting Nikki Bella and No Mercy. whoop de doo Next, Danny Bryan comes out and does this whole Susan G. Coleman thing. And as I said on the Raw review, it's not that I don't care about cancer and shit. It's that they shouldn't put these sort of segments on Raw and SmackDown. It's a waste of time. Then Bryan's all like, oh, I'm going to give them a belt. Weirdest part is the SmackDown fans were cheering really loud for the Susan G. Cohen people. Probably Kevin Dunn doing the, you know, making the crowd seem like they're cheering. I don't know. Maybe they were cheering. I didn't think they cheered on Raw. That's the only thing that confused me. Anyways, the next thing that happened on SmackDown Live, the Hype Bros defeated the Broad, the, the broad Villains? The Vod Villains in a pointless match. I don't care. Next, probably the best segment of SmackDown, Miz TV. Miz and Maurice come out, and they ask Dolph Ziggler to come out, and they do a Dolphumentary, which is a documentary of Dolph. They showed Chavo Guerrero, surprisingly. Um, and they showed Dolph Ziggler like, when he was a caddy, showed him in Spirit Squad, showed him how he's pretty much always a failure, um, that sort of thing. And then Ziggler and Miz started talking for a bit, and Ziggler's like, I'm not a failure! I cashed in Money in the Bank, and I won the World Champion one time. <laughs> that was stupid. Best part of the documentary was <laughs> apparently Ziggler won the belt on an episode of maybe SmackDown or Raw, and <laughs> apparently he lost it like not that long later. And there's like a voice in the background, and the voice is like, "He had his glory for ten seconds." And it was funny as hell. It was great. Um, after the documentary, out comes fucking Kenny uh, Dykstra, Dykstra, Kenny, and uh. Nikki, no, not Nikki. Nikki was Ziggler. Um, Mitch, I don't even remember which one it was, but it was a bald one. It was the one that always did like the stupid fucking head thing. I don't fucking know. It was weird seeing Kenny back because I'm pretty sure Kenny and John Cena have beef, and John Cena was on SmackDown. I don't know how they were in the same locker room together. That doesn't make sense with me, but I guess they survived. So the Spirit Squad come out, and they're like. Dolphy! Which is stupid because he was never Dolphy, he was Nikki. They should know that. <laughs> it's kind of stupid that I said Dolphy. Anyway, they end up attacking Dolph Ziggler and they hit him with the Spirit Squad bomb thing. There's only two of them though. Spirit Squad was like five people before. I don't get that. And of all people, they brought back Kenny. I'll never, I'll never get over that. Why they brought fucking Kenny back. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like Kenny, but fuck, he has beef with Cena. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, next. Guy from American Alpha versus Guy from the Usos. <laughs> Jason, Jordan, Jason Jordan defeats Jey Uso. I don't care. Usos are fighting <laughs> American Alpha at No Mercy. I really don't care about No Mercy. It's not going to be really good pay-per-view. I don't like SmackDown. I don't. A lot of people like SmackDown. I don't. Raw is so much better than SmackDown. And people on the internet, they're always saying, like, fuck, SmackDown is better than Raw. You need to get your eyes checked. Because it's not. I don't like SmackDown. For 
for matches like this one coming up next. Jack Swagger defeats Baron Corbin in another pointless match. He'll be fighting in No Mercy for sure. And then the SmackDown after, SmackDown after, SmackDown after, SmackDown pay-per-view, SmackDown, pay SmackDown after that, SmackDown after that, and he'll keep fighting. That's a Baron Corbin feud for you. Um, more Indy and Bray White stuff. In the main event, wasn't even a match. Um, <laughs> main event was the uh, Ambrose, John Cena, and AJ Styles face off thing before their big match at No Mercy. They just faced off. AJ Styles knocked both of them down. Styles holds up the belt. Cena knocks Styles down. Cena holds up the belt. Whoop de doo. No Mercies this Sunday. Make sure to watch that on the WWE Network for $9.99. Or, there's varying prices wherever you live. Like in Canada, it's $11.99, which is dumb. But anyway, that's my time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. I'm Rick Road, signing out.